Ninety Day Fiancé spin-off The Single Life saw two splits finalised on the tell-all but not the divorce fans really want. The ladies in question are Tanya Maduro, Tiffany Franco and Natalie Mordovseva. The Single Life gave us a whopping three-part tell-all to end season three. In part one, we saw Tiffany Franco break her silence. Tiffany revealed what's going on with her South African husband, Ronald Smith. They slung nasty accusations at each other on the show. Tiffany accused Ronald of stealing $250 from her debit card to gamble. He denied it. Then, Tiffany said he was seeing this on-again, off-again girlfriend behind her back while she was in SA to reconcile with him. Everything still seems toxic between the two spices. On 90 Day The Single Life's season ender, Tanya Maduro bought a, brought a notary and legal papers with her. For his part, Sinjin called Chester said he'd never marry again, and he said he wouldn't have married Tanya if not for the immigration issue. They signed on the spot. On the 90 Day Fiancé episode, the exes chatted in the green room. There, Sinjin wondered if he'd lived van life with Tanya, would it change things? He says he was overwhelmed by Tanya's expectations when he came to America. Tanya Maduro's ex said he still wanted to be free. Then he told Tanya Maduro, I think trying killed us. A 90 Day Fiancé producer asked Tanya if she expected this. She said, I didn't marry Sinjin to get divorced. And Tanya Maduro notes she saw f red flags, but he'd agreed to work on them. In the end, Tanya called their marriage beautiful, but with bad times. Meanwhile, Tanya's ex said he's sad it didn't work out. They hugged before he left. He said, it's good to get closure. Then Tanya Maduro says she wants a beautiful family and real, true, deep love. The last third of the 90 Day Fiancé woman on the tell-all who was grilled about still being married while dating was Natalie Mordoseva. She's dating and Natalie, someone's boyfriend, Josh, was there too. But it was in her husband Mike's lap that Natalie plopped to cry. Mike Youngquist's mother, Tanya Youngquist, was also there and it's clear she'd like to see Natalie out of Mike's life for good. But neither Mike nor Natalie instigated divorce proceedings. Not only that, but if it's up to Natalie Mordovseva, it'll never happen, it seems. On the single life tell-all, they asked Natalie Mordovseva about her next steps. She said it's complicated and said Mike brought her to America and took responsibility for her. And Natalie calls it the right decision to leave and said if he meets someone, he can divorce her.